All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So this is the introduction, the introduction to some new, a new resource in the Find Calm Here community. Our first resource I created was the Calm Guide to Launch Your Money Network. This is the Calm Guide for onboarding your members. And so what I'm going to do in this short video is I'm just going to go over the outline of this guide. So um, who this guide is for, it's for Money Network hosts who want to create an onboarding plan. And that that's either whether you're a new Money Network host that hasn't even launched yet and you want to have an onboarding plan before you launch, or if it's some something like um, you're a Money Network host, but you already launched and you didn't really have an onboarding plan and now you're really wanting to like really hone in on a really great onboarding plan for your community. So that's uh, what we're going to talk about. We're also going to talk about engaging your members to have them connect, contribute and to stay. So I know a lot of people uh, that I talk with, Money Network hosts, say they would like members to stay in their community after uh, you know, over time and hopefully become a lifetime member. I think that's the goal of um, for a lot of Money Network hosts. So for this guide, what we're going to do, I have a welcome here. I just explain a little bit more about what uh, this is. I've designed it to help inspire Money Network hosts to customize an onboarding plan, develop ideas for content creation and best practices for leading a Money Network with resources and support for you at any stage of your community building process. So this is a creation based on feedback I had from clients. Uh, members of the FinCom Here community helped create this and kind of uh, engage with me in feedback. And the Muddy Mastermind was instrumental in this guide because I actually did a uh, cultivating a, actually, an onboarding and cultivating conversation, I think it was um, workshop for the Money Mastermind back in um, February of 2021. And so a lot of the content I'm pulling from that workshop. So um, some of you might, if you're a, if you were in the Money Mastermind since the beginning of 2021, you might be familiar with some of the terms or the conversations that we're going to have during the guide. Um, so section one is creating an onboarding plan. So step-by-step -step process to learn what onboarding is, the methods of onboarding, because there's a variety of different methods that you could use for your onboarding plan, identifying what your unique process is going to be, and then creating your onboarding plan. And so when I say um, your process, that's like the, the how. So the method is the why the process is the how and then the creating the onboarding plan is the actual steps that you're going to take the action so section two we're going to actually go into connecting your members to spark conversation and collaboration because obviously if you you bring them in to a community uh, you bring members new members in you want them to not only feel like it's a safe place for them but that they can connect with other people so we're going to talk in section two about create cultivating your community garden creating a safe space uh, getting social, uh, creating belonging, and reviewing your expectations as well as member expectations and aligning that with your community goals. Uh, so that just really talks about how to create a really welcoming space, spark that conversation right away with your members so that they automatically are like excited to meet each other and talk to each other. And then ultimately, hopefully, they feel like they belong. So how do we create that bond between members of a body network? Uh, so we're going to discuss that. And then we're going to talk about like what your expectations are for like the, you know, how, how much engagement do you want? What does that mean? What does engagement and contribution mean to you? And how do you kind of look at, and we can look at a little bit of the, um, the analytics here too, is, as and creating your system for what you believe to be is important to you. And that's kind of also establishing like the code of conduct and the values and what all you're going to accomplish together in the Money Network. So then section three is cultivating growth for your Money Network. And that's really about discovering your growth path, 
with step-by-step process to create a customized plan for benchmarking your success, celebrating the little wins, and being open to changes along the way. Um, So Muddy Mastermind members might already know where I'm going with this, but we've been talking, a lot of people have been asking me about an ambassador program and how I've created mine and um, some, you know, ways to look at having, you know, either, you know, ambassadors or uh, volunteers to help you grow, as well as keeping the members that you actually still have. So if you brought people in, the biggest thing you want to (laughs) do is not just like get new members all the time. It's obviously to keep them in there. So we definitely want to talk about how you can have some retention, celebrating the little wins. Like every time there's a new member that's, uh, you know, that that's paid you as a paid member, um, celebrating those those things along the way and seeing your your community grow is very exciting for not just you for the income, but also for um, the members so that there's new people coming in and that creates new sparks of conversation. And then being open to change along the way, um, you know, (laughs) I'm learning a lot just as I go in my community building experience and I'm trying to be really, really open. And with that being said, please give me any feedback that you have. Uh, I am working to (laughs) learn how to take criticism really well. So please um, tell me how I can make this guide better. And um, I am not, you know, the super master expert. I'm just sharing you with you some resources that I've learned and that I've worked with my clients and that I'm learning throughout different processes as I build my experience as a community builder. So that's uh, that's the, uh, the sections that we'll go over in this Calm Guide. Getting the most out of your Calm Guide uh, to onboarding members, be supportive, like, uh, you know, encourage each other in, in this, um, in the Money Network, um, in our Find Calm Here community. When you um, are looking for some support around your onboarding process, like ask people, like, here's what I'm thinking. Um, You can create a post, you can um, do a little video like I'm doing, you can do a Loom video, you can actually do, um, you know, slides like a slide deck or or just one kind of, you know, like in the in the beginning, I have that calm, you know, the calm flow flow chart, you could create your own flow chart just to say, here's what I think would be the the member experience. Um, so ask for, ask for, um, other people to give you some feedback as well as offer that feedback to others and, and support each other in this, uh, find calm here community. I know everybody who's in here is awesome because they are awesome. Um, so that is that. If you have questions, please let me know. I am going to have a workshop for this guide, uh, as part of the money mastermind first. And then I will introduce it to the rest of the community probably in the next two months um, from this release date. So uh, if you please would remember whenever you're finished with a lesson to just complete it, um, mark that button that says you complete it because I'm actually monitoring the progress of everybody who's doing this so that I know where, you know, if this if this is being used by members and where they're at in the process. So with that being said, thank you so much. I'm excited to get into this calm guide with you. Um, super exciting. Uh, here's the flow chart again, just to show you uh, what we're going to do for this um, for this guide. So. All right. Thanks so much.